All right, we're back with more of Hearthstone's The Boomsday Project Puzzle Lab. Let's do this. Okay, so yesterday we did uh yesterday we did the first puzzle with your boy uh Dr. Boom. We finished Lethal Mirror, Board Clear and Survival and we finished the Lethal uh Secret Lab. Next we'll be doing Mirror. Welcome friend to the mind of Boom. Don't get lost. It's twisted. All right. So remember the goal for Mirror is we want to make our side of the board look exactly like Dr. Boom's side of the board. This is going to be a holy, holy mess. Calling it now. Gul'dan versus Dr. Boom. All right. So we want to make our side of the board look exactly like Dr. Boom's side of the board. That goes for minions, their placement, their power and tough. I'm sorry. <laughs> their attack and health and uh, anything else that might be on the board. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, anything else. Here we go. Mirror, mirror that I grab. Who's the smartest in my lab? Okay. Boom side of the board from left to right. You're we so lucky you get to gaze upon the true perfection that is I. From left to right, we have Abomination, the 4 4 that has taunt, death, and death rattle, uh, deal two damage to all characters. And it also seems like he has been granted Rush from Houndmaster Shaw, this guy over here. Yes, he's giving his he's giving the rest of Boom's minions Rush. Okay. Uh, then he has three sea giants immediately after the abomination. Uh, they're eight eights, and they also have rush as well. Then there is the worgen greaser, he's six three, which also has rush. And then there's how master Shaw himself, a three six that says your other minions have rush. Okay. Our side of the board, we concentrate. concentrate. Our side of the board, we have our own how master Shaw, which means our minions will also. Have rush. He's a three six. We have the loot hoarder, a two one with death rattle, draw a card, and the cruel dynamancer, a five five with death rattle. Summon a random minion you discard at this game. Oh, we're warlock. Our hero ability is draw a card and take two damage. And there are no cards in Boom's deck, but we have one card in ours. Uh, in our hand, we have Prince Taldoram, a 3-3 three, three that reads Battle Cry. If your deck contains no, I'm sorry, if your deck has no three cost cards, transform into a 3-3 three, three copy of this of a minion. Uh, we have Soulfire, deal four damage, draw, ooh, discard a random card. Then we have Kidnapper, combo, 5-3 uh, with combo. Work the problem. If that fails, I resort to bribery. 5-3 with combo, return a minion to its owner's hand. Okay. Let's see, this attacks and dies. We draw a card. Uh, uh, let's see, this dies. We summon a random, we discard it. Okay. So we can use Cruel Dynamancer, right? I'm trying to figure out what, what this would be. If this is glowing yellow, that means it's Battle Cry or its effect will work. Uh, so that means we don't have any three cost cards in our deck. Okay. Let's see. If we play this, what would I copy? Oh, did I stump you? If I play this, what do I copy? If I copy this, then it can attack. It dies, then this dies immediately after. That's four to everything. That's dead. This dies, I draw a card. I draw whatever that is. So it's to summon something I randomly, whatever this is, I guess I want to summon it. I guess I want to summon it. Okay, so let's copy, let's copy this. Tremble before Tal'Darum, mortal. So now Kidnapper's glowing yellow. Combo means I need to play another card before I get the ability. Uh, do I return one of these clouds? 
Because there's no way I'm going to take that out. Let's do that. I usually work alone. Okay. So we could attack with this. I think it'd be better if I attack here, then we go here. Right? Instead of losing. Actually, I'll still lose this. I think that works, though. And then we're going to draw this card when one of these two dies. Or when this dies. So whatever this is, we're about to draw it now. Silence a minion? Random card. What are we silencing? Let's see. This attacks here. This is dead. Uh, and that's it. How am I taking these out? Oh, I guess I'm attacking them, huh? Yeah, I guess I'm attacking them. <laughs> okay, so if I attack here. Yeah. So now I can attack this and then hit that with soul fire. Okay, that wasn't as hard as I was making it. I can't. I guess I could use silence a minion here. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Mirror. Oh boy, he's got secrets. Okay. He's got secrets. Uh, Dr. Boom's side of the field. Left to right, he has a loot hoarder, a 2 1 with death rattle, draw a card. He has a 714 ultra soar. He actually has two of those. He has the hoarding dragon, a 5 6 with death rattle, give your opponent two coins. And the Reckless Rocketeer, a 5-2 with charge. He has no cards in his deck, but he has two secrets. One's a Hunter secret, and the other's a Mage secret. Our side of the board, we have the Alkanai Soul Priest, a 3-5 with your cards and powers that restore health, now deal damage instead. We have the Ice Rager, a 5-2 elemental. We have the Radiant Elemental, a 2-3 elemental with your spells cost one less. We have the Polluted Hoarder, a 4-2. Results are guaranteed. We have uh, the Polluted Hoarder, a 4-2 with Death Rattle, draw a card. And we have Archbishop Benedictus, a 4-6 with Battle Cry. Shuffle a copy of your opponent's deck into your deck. Cool. Uh, where Priests, our hero ability is Restore to Health. Remember, with Arcanine Soul Priest in play, that actually deals two damage. Uh, our hand from left to right, we have Arch Archmage's Insight. Your spells cost zero this turn. Recycle, shuffle an enemy minion into your opponent's deck, and healing wave, restore 7 health, reveal a minion in each deck. If yours costs more, restore 14 instead. Okay, so this is actually going to make these free, which is interesting. Uh, enemy minion to opponent's Remember, deck. every solution has a problem. Yo, how am I supposed to make... Excuse me? <laughs> How am I supposed to make my side of the board look like his? This will give me two coins if I kill it somehow. I want to bet that this major secret is counter spell, which reads whenever when I cast a spell, counter it. When an opponent casts a spell, counter it. I feel like that's what it is. I feel like that's what it is. And then the hunter secret, I don't know what that could be. I don't know what that could be offhand. Ah, yeah, sure. Take your time. This is a delicate operation. Hunter's secret is freezing trap. <laughs> that's why that ability is there. It's freezing trap. Freezing trap says uh, whenever an opponent, whenever an enemy minion attacks something, I forget if it's the hero or a minion. Uh, return it to your opponent's hand. They draw. Uh, it costs two more. I think that's what it is. That's freezing trap. But I, I really think this is counter spell. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, if this is freezing spell, let's attack this. 
Our freezing trap. Called it. So it costs two more. It's somewhat fine. It's somewhat fine. Okay. So now his ability makes sense. Shuffle a copy of your opponent's deck into your deck. We need a way to get our opponent's deck into existence. <laughs> oh, this is it. Uh, shuffle an enemy minion into your opponent's deck. Okay. So now our spells will be free for the rest of the turn. It's not counter spell. Because that would have countered that. Okay. Interesting. What is it? So we want to recycle what? I guess if I want our side of the board to look like his, we need to get a, an Ultra Sword, right? Oh, we don't need this anymore, do we? If our spells are free. So what are you attacking? You're not taking this out. That's too easy. I can currently wipe you. Do we want, we want coins. We want coins because we can't cast this otherwise. So we need at least one coin. So we need to take this out. You're useless. You're going to hit that. Four points left. That's you. And then draw a card. Ooh. Ooh, I'm going to take a point. Oh, no. All right, so we got two coins. Now we can cast Benedictus. up a copy so we're gonna get an ultra sword okay so we get oh are we done oh he's not gonna be free though how much does he cost 10 how the hell oh wait wait a second if ours costs more they cost the same though how would ours cost more because he has I put an Ultra Sword in his deck. We're going to get a copy in ours. So we'll both have Ultra Sword. How would I get away with this? <laughs> How would I get away with this? Shut up. If I play you here, we get a copy of this. Ah, it was Mirror Entity. Okay, so now we've mirrored that. If I kill, ooh, if I kill this here and this here. Ours costs more. Does a tie mean that we we're successful? There's a tie means we're successful. Ours doesn't cost more. It costs the same. Hmm. What went wrong? Oh, I was supposed to attack first because then he wouldn't have had a card. He wouldn't have had a card and we would have won. Okay. Okay. I messed up in the very last second. Yeah, he would have drawn. Okay. Okay. I seize it. That's why I'm good at it. I, I seize it. Okay. So this gets bounced to my hand. It costs two more. I play Archmage's Insight. Now everything's free. I shuffle an enemy into his deck. Um, I get the coin. I play Benedictus. He gets copied, right? Yeah, it gets copied. My master will return. We got to get him to draw first. Then we drop Healing Wave. Because he doesn't have any cards in his deck, ours is bigger. So it deals 14 instead of 7. And then we go here. Man, how do I mess up the last step? <laughs> how do I mess up in the last steps? Oh boy, is that the darkness? 
Damn. How can you copy me if I don't even know what I'm doing? Think about it. Okay. Dr. Boom's side of the board from left to right. He has a novice engineer, a 1-1 one, one with battle cry draw a card. He has the Howl Fiend, a 3-6 demon with whenever this minion takes damage, discard a random card. He has a 1-3 beast. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, a dire mole, a 1-3 beast. The darkness. Currently, it's not awake, so it's not considered a minion. But when your opponent draws three candles, this awakens. And when it does, it becomes a 2020. Then he has the Faceless Manipulator, a 3-3 with Battle Cry. Choose a minion and become a copy of it. Do we want to... I'm, I'll, I'll get there in a second. Boom has no cards in this deck. Uh, our side of the board is empty. We... We are a mage, so our hero ability is deal one damage. In our cards from left to right, we have the Archmage's Insight. Our spells cause zero this turn. Boots of Haste. Our minions cause zero this turn. Betrayal. Force an enemy minion to deal its damage to the minions. Next to it, we have Vanish. Return all minions to their owner's hands. Isn't this the easy way to win this? Just drop this? That doesn't work? Oh, he's not a minion. Okay. Uh, Toxic Arrow. Deal two damage to a minion. If it survives, give it poisonous. King Togwaggle, a 5-5 five, five that reads Battle Cry. Swap decks with your opponents. Give them a ransom spell to swap back. B Archbishop Benedictus, a 4-6 with Battle Cry. Shuffle a copy of your opponent's deck into your deck. Thought so. Remember, mm. every solution has a problem. Naturalize, destroy a minion. Your opponent draws two cards. And Gloves of Mugging, steal three cards from your opponent's hand. Okay. So it seems as though I want to play these two off off the off the top. That means I can play stuff for free. It means I can play stuff for free and then use my hero ability and that's it. I'm starting there and no one's gonna change my mind. Everything's free for the rest of this turn, except for the hero power. Cool. Okay, so when we draw three candles, I'm gonna assume there's three candles there. How are we drawing three candles? Unless we're swapping. No, even that's not gonna let us draw them. Yeah, I don't think we have a way to draw them. I gotta find a way to get rid of this. The only thing here that can draw is the novice engineer, right? Where are these two cards in his hand? I don't think I mentioned that. Boom has two cards in his hand. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah, sure. Take your time. This is a delicate operation. Quick question. Betrayal. It forces an enemy minion to deal its damage to the minions next to it. Does that mean... Let's see. So, like... Faceless Manipulator, is that going to deal damage to the darkness, which doesn't count? Or is it not? Is it just not going to deal damage to anything? Because if so, I know how we can get rid of a lot of stuff on the board. I can use Toxic Arrow on Dire Mole. It's going to survive and have Poisonous. And then Betrayal is going to deal poison damage to this and this. That's three things gone. Or, or not three. I'll have to hit it with that. But that's three things gone there. Just give it a shot. I'm down to learn. Nah, it hit the darkness. Okay, but that's poison damage, so he has to discard a random card. I wonder if that really was random. Magma Rage. What's the other card? Is it another Magma Rage? <laughs> Is it another Magma Rage? Okay, I can shoot this down here. If I use Vanish now, that's in his hand and that's in his hand. Then I use the gloves of mugging. I can steal three cards. So this, this, or whatever this is. I'll be able to play this, play that, and copy it. I wonder if I get the battle cry still. I don't know. Or not battle cry. Uh, uh, yeah, battle cry. Let's try that. Bounce those back. Use the gloves. What's that third card? 
Is it, oh, it was another Magma Ruji. Okay. So if I play this and draw, I'm going to draw a candle. A candle. Oh, and they go over and over. They have a thing that says, they have a thing that says draw a card on it. Okay, so I'm going to draw candles. Draw the last candle. It's going to make me draw for fatigue. All right, so now he is a 2020, and I can copy it. And kill this thing. This one wasn't too bad. This one wasn't too bad. Boy, or mirror. I almost said board clip. Oh boy, there's stuff everywhere. Okay. The ray of roasting, a weapon of devastating power. Super handy at a picnic. Damn. Okay. We wouldn't just drop the ray of roasting. Whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let's let's do this normally. Okay. Left to right. Uh, boom side of the field, we have Gromash Hellscream, a 4-9 with charge and has 6 attack while damaged. We have the Ultra Sword, a 7-14 beast. We have the Void Lord, a 3-9 with taunt and death rattle, summon 3-1-3 three, three demons with taunt. We have Glinda Crowskin, minions in your hand have echo. She's a 3-7. Uh, that means they can be cast again Ooh, for the turn. It? Uh, Aviana, your minion, uh, five, five that reads your minions cost one and boom in a box, a zero 10 and stealth and death rattle deal a hundred damage to the enemy hero. Our side of the board, we have ticking abomination, a five, six with death rattle deal five damage to your minions and Malganus, a nine, seven with your other demons have plus two plus two and your hero is immune. That means we can't take damage. As long as Malganus is alive, we can't take damage. Uh, we are our mage, and our hero ability is deal one damage. Both my deck and Boone's deck are empty. Our hand from left to right, we have Prince Tal'Daram. If you're 3-3 uh, three, three with Battlecry, if your deck has no three cost cards, transform into a 3-3 three, three copy of a minion. It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. We have Shadow Madness. Uh, gain control of an enemy with three or less attack until end of turn. Treachery, choose a friendly minion and give it to your opponent. Death Speaker, a 2 4 with Battle Cry, give a friendly minion immune this turn. Oh, this is interesting. I know where to go. <laughs> then we have Kuhn, the Forgotten King, a 7 7 with choose one, gain 10 armor, or refresh your mana crystals. And then the Ray of Roasting, deal 10 damage to all minions 10 times. Okay. Let's see one more time. What do, what do we have over there? Remember, we want a mirror on the board. We want a mirror on the board. Okay. Okay. Concentrate. Concentrate. Am I distracting you? Okay. So Talaram's gonna go off. He's gonna give us a copy of anything. Shadow Madness can only hit the Void Lord or uh, Glinda Crowskin. Death Speaker, I feel like I want that. If I want that on anything, I want that on Malganus. But I don't think I want it on Malganus because I need to get rid of him. Boom doesn't have a Malganus. This one's clearly going to be Refresh Your Mana Crystals. And then this feels like the, the sinker. This feels like the sinker here. Okay, let's get started. If I take this, remember, every solution has a problem. If I take this, my minions in my hand have echo. What would I want to cast over and over? I 
I would want Taldoram over and over, right? Because then I can make copies of anything and give it to Boom with Treachery. But that first copy is the most important. Take your time. This is a delicate operation. That first copy is the most important, right? That first copy has to copy something that will make it cheaper for me to play things. Because I ain't got mana like that. We broke around here. <laughs> I want Aviana. Okay, I see it. I see it. All right, so I need to take Glinda. Now, this has Echo. So I can cast this again for three mana, right? No, for one. Ooh, yeah, because I'll be copying... What's her face? I'll be copying Aviana. Children fill the skies. Yeah. Okay. So I can make what? If I make Morganus, they're gonna make each other stronger. Let's do that. Tremble. Yeah. Let's do it again. <laughs> because I need to have a copy. What is it? I need to. I need to give him a copy of Morganus, right? Or no. Ten damage. Ten times. Ten damage ten times. If I drop him with refresh, then it's my time. It's my time for the ray. Cause that's gonna eat everything up. It's gonna kill the things this makes. It's going to deal five damage to my minions. As long as he hasn't died, remember, the catch is even once your health is below it's zero. Plan ahead. Me? I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. Once the health is below zero, it still has to die. It has to leave the battlefield. Until it's left the battlefield, everything is still in play. So I'll still be immune. That's the trick. And then this is going to go off, but it won't kill me. The, like Both of these are going to die at the same time. I'll still be immune when this dies, as far as the game knows. So this isn't going to kill me. That's the trick. That's the trick. And I could put this anywhere, right? We're going to empty the board. Effectively, we're going to empty the board. All right, boys. Ten. Oh, my God. And it's got to keep shooting. See, I'm still a meal because this one's still alive. Now we're good. So then that's 20. Mirror. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, so that's two down for the Boomsday Project Secret Lab. We've got Lethal done. We've got Mirror done. We only got two more. We got Boom. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Board cleared survival. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed this and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Plan.